International Day of Yoga. Well, 21st June is the day when United Nations designated in the year 2014 that International Day of Yoga would be celebrated on this day. Here, this is a very special year. We are celebrating 75 years of India's independence which is actually in 2022, but we are, will be celebrating over the next two years. And this Yoga Day celebration marks the launch of India at 75. So this is special and that is why this year we are having Yoga Day in Turkey over a period of five days. Starting on Monday which was on the 21st of June and this will continue till this Friday and spread over we started in Istanbul we called it yoga by the Bosphorus now Ankara and we also had in Mersin and we are having against the backdrop of the Cappadocia landscape on the 25th so and I also wanted to share with you that about 46 hotels celebrated the yoga yeah, on the 21st of June. Well, in the year 2014, when UN endorsed Yoga Day, it was unprecedented that 177 countries in the world actually, uh, uh, in, uh, together, they came together and uh, uh, this was kind of unprecedented in the UN history. And since then, we have had six edition, and this is the uh, 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 seventh edition of the yoga day and it is every time held on the summer solstice day which is the largest day in the uh, uh, in our calendar 21st of june uh, friends yoga as uh, vijayalakshmi mentioned is it means addition i mean you add all the elements all the elements including your body and mind and it's part of the Indian ethos and uh, ancient tradition says that is through yoga you ensure health and well-being of a person a healthy body ensures a healthy mind and a healthy mind ensures a healthy body so it is the synthesis of body and mind which marks yoga and I wanted to, today I am reminded of what uh, one of the yoga experts, BKS Iyengar, had said. He said that your body exists in the past, your mind exists in the future. And it is in yoga that there is a 
this mind and body comes together in the present and that is why it is important that we make our present beautiful while looking for a beautiful future so yoga assumes a particular importance during this pandemic during the covid situation as you can do yoga in a restricted space while maintaining social distancing and at the same time you can ensure health so do join this lifestyle statement which is what yoga is it started for health and wellness but now it has become a lifestyle statement everybody is endorsing it and do join this movement and i'm very happy to see that turkey has really backed yoga in a big way we have a yoga center here unfortunately we had to close down because of the pandemic but we hope to restart again very quickly so i wish you once again all the very best as we celebrate the international day of yoga so friends let's yoga for health and wellness thank you namaskar friends dear friends i'm really delighted to be here to mark international yoga day is the first opportunity i have to do this in in the current posting in turkey yoga is already immensely popular around the world we all know that it is good for your health but it is of course also good for your spirit and you as practitioners probably know this best in addition to several positive contributions it makes to personal well-being yoga also balances body and soul physical health and mental happiness we are marking the day at a time when the covid-19 pandemic continues to upend lives and livelihoods of people globally and the message of yoga in promoting both the physical and mental well-being of humanity has never been more relevant beyond its immediate impact on physical health the covid-19 pandemic has also aggravated mental health problems for people around the world this has highlighted the urgent need to address the mental health dimensions of the pandemic in addition to its physical health impacts recognizing this important role of yoga this year's commemoration of the international day of yoga focuses on yoga for well-being how to practice yoga and how to promote holistic health for all of us in line with the united nations it also offers resources to its personnel to ensure that they can also practice this and now that i know there is the yoga center i will certainly promote it within our organizations the world health organization who mentions that yoga to improve health in its global action plan on physical activity from 2018 to 2030 more active people for a healthy world and unicef indicates that kids can practice many yoga poses without any risk and get the same benefits that adults do my hope is that yoga will give people everywhere the sense of oneness that we need to work together to live in harmony and live a life of dignity for all this is specifically at a time in which the world is recovering from covid-19 in many parts it is also one of the principles embodied in the sustainable development goals which as you may know run to 2030 and that sadly had been set back by the covid pandemic in the spirit uh, i wish you all the best for this week the five days of yoga uh, here as well and uh, namaskar ji come to the center now we'll rotate our neck to from the right to the left and left to the right so bend your back neck, sorry come to the center inhale in the center and as you exhale turn to the other side in come to the center slowly x to the other side very feel the sun like you 
Now, I wanted to actually thank everyone for, for you know, for us praying that the sun comes. I think our prayers was a little, uh, you know, I, uh, it was uh, uh, granted, but granted in a little more than what we wanted. But uh, wonderful, we have had excellent yoga instructors, thank you. went up well. And uh, to my colleague, Ambassador Alvarez Rodriguez, I must uh, tell you that it's not easy to become a UN resident coordinator on yoga. <laughs> The same thing also with the Indian ambassadors. Yeah, thank you. Thank thank you congratulations. Thank you very much.